Hey, uh, it's Daniel. I'm not wearing my normal getup today because I'm kind of just coming from an emotional place and I didn't want to take the time to change and everything, but I just wanted to talk about something that really kind of weighs heavily on me um, and a lot of members of the system. Other than Jonathan and Jacob, maybe Leto, I can't really think of anyone in the system who this doesn't affect. I'm gonna be real, being an alter sucks. It sucks because we are constantly bombarded with people either literally saying these things or the way people get sarcastic or obviously uncomfortable. Like, this isn't our world. This isn't our body. These aren't people who are here for us. This is all wins stuff. Here's the thing. I'm a person, okay? The I think, I think the one thing that gets me the most is when people are like, oh, you've gotta be patient. It's really hard to be blank with a person who has DID. Like, it's really hard to be close to them. It's really hard to be friends with them. It's really hard to be family with them. It's really hard to be part. Why? Why? That's my thing. Why does it have to be hard? Why does it have to be such a... You want to know what's hard? What's hard is growing up as a child who can't even read or write. A child who can't even, f like who doesn't understand their body and who can't even formulate complex sentences and having adults come into their life to hurt them in ways I don't even feel comfortable repeating on camera. That's hard. That's fucking hard. For Wynn, I don't deal with the repressed memory thing. Wynn does. That's hard. You wanna talk hard? Try having your whole life flipped fucking upside down and feeling like the people that you love, that you trusted your whole life are actually monsters. And you can't tell anybody because you don't have proof. That's fucking hard, okay? What's not hard is looking at someone who you care for and saying, oh, okay, you have this condition that helped you survive your fucking childhood and it just happens to mean that instead of one personality you've kind of fractured off into a bunch of personalities. I'll treat these personalities as individuals but also understand that they are part of you. I don't understand why that's hard. I don't. I don't get it. I hate feeling like I am a burden for existing. I hate feeling like I don't have a place in this world. Like I will never have a place in this world. I just, I, and I know we said we were gonna take a break during February. Technically it's not February. So I can still upload this one last video before our break. I just wanted to get this off my chest. I just, I'm just sick of it. I know this is not my body. I know that this is primarily not my life, but that doesn't mean I don't have feelings. That doesn't mean that I can just be shoved in a corner and brushed aside. Like we shouldn't have to be afraid anymore. We were afraid growing up for good reason, because there were monsters to be afraid of. We're safe now. We shouldn't have to feel afraid. We shouldn't have to feel ashamed for existing. We shouldn't have to feel like we're intruding on other people's lives because this happened to us. This video doesn't really have a point. There's no message. There's no education. I just, I don't know, I need to get it off my chest and feel like I'm being listened to, I guess. Like that's one of the big reasons we wanted to take a break because the stark difference between how welcoming the internet is and how hard it is for us to feel welcome in the real world just really kind of made that second part hard to deal with. And I don't know what I'm gonna do with it. So we're gonna figure out in February what we're gonna do, change up our plans or whatever, figure out an internal support structure so we don't have to feel so shit on by the outside world, but yeah. Just, that's it. That's all, that's, that's all I have to say. So, thanks for listening to me rant. See you in March.